Hi guys! Hi guys, it's Lisa here. Hey, I was going to show you another quick and easy little um, craft that we're going to do today. Making, um, using our business envelopes, making it into a beautiful creation. And, um, um, and also I'm going to be announcing who gets, who is winning the Happy Mail being sent to them this month. I'm going to reveal that, but first off I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today. And I already have it kind of in my book here. I don't have it glued down because I want to be able to show you how we're going to put this in here. So, so here's what we're making. This little pocket here. And what it is, is it's made from an envelope. And it's just a flipped up envelope that you get. This is a National Geographic envelope. And I flipped it up and I turned it over and I clipped um, a V in the center here. And then I, I took... Um, some of my stamps. I have a stamp book and I copied a strip of the stamps in my stamp book and then I glued it on and to form this cute little pocket. So, and it just goes like this, it glues down and then you put your little note in here. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let me put this up. All right. So first off, we're going to start out using an envelope. Here is the envelope that I got from National Geographic. It's one of these kind that, um, it's an envelope that you would send in your payment in there, or you're signing up for the subscription and you would be using this kind of envelope. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to seal this. I'm going to use a glue stick real quick just to seal this shut. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to lift this out first off. I'll take it. And I'm going to fold it in half. And right here I'm going to snip a little. Um, I'm going to take it and to make my little V, to make this V here in the center. Take your envelope with the top, the top side here. Fold it in half because we want our V to be here. So I'm going to take it as wide as I want it. Good. This is going to make it totally even on both sides. I'm just going to take a little snip out of it, it's like that. It's a little snip. And look at what that does. It makes a perfect V for my opening. Isn't that wonderful? So, and then I'm going to fold this up about mm, just eyeballing it probably an inch up like that we're going to go ahead and ink it and I'm going to ink just all sides of it and this is our actually this is our last um, the last time of doing our business envelopes so Next time you see me, we're going to start something different. I haven't decided yet, but it will be announced soon once I get the idea what I want to do. Go ahead and ink all the edges on that. Okay. Moving this part down here too. So I'm excited about drawing a name today to see who wins. I'm going to be so excited. Exciting. Okay, so that's already inked up. And then what I want to do is I want to fold in about a half an inch in on each side. Like that. And that is what is going to be glued down in the book. It's going to be these sides here. And what you want to do here is where where I cut this groove, you want to glue it. Where's my where is my glue? Right. You want to glue it down because this we're not really going to use this as an opening because we're going to use. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Let me get this down here, okay? Because when we're going to glue it in our book, we're going to go ahead and just use 
this part as the whole opening. And then this is also going to be another tuck spot here. So, so here's the page that I used that I got out of my stamp collection. And I copied this page and I have a row of um, this was taken from this. I copied it on and then I glued that on. So and I have my I have that sitting right here of my copy. And here's my copy. Here's some of the ones that I'm gonna use. And I think I'm that I'm gonna use this strip here to put on this envelope. I'm gonna cut that out. This is a real simple little pocket, but it, you know, it looks, you know, more of a, like a postage theme pocket, postage pocket theme. I wanted to do something that looked at least like it could be an envelope, you know. Okay. So that's the side. Again, I'm going to ink this up. Quick and I'm using frayed burlap. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Uh, I need my glue stick for this one. It's so easy. This is such a simple, easy one to do. Just like this. And then I want to cut out another stamp to put on the corner here. And let's see. I think I'll use this one here. So, you know, if you don't have the real stamps, you can always use pictures of stamps, and they look just as good. And then I'm going to glue that one right there. I'm going to ink it up a little bit. Put my, put my glue it down. Right where it says postage, right here. Oh. Upside down. Oops. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to get out my book and glue it in on my book. And this is my page. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And I want to put glue. Here, both sides in the bottom. can see this. Alright. Now on this you could put anything you wanted in this this envelope. Now I got some postcards I could show you what those would look like in here. Let's see. Gonna some of my old postcards. You wanna see some of my old postcards? I got, I got them at a, at a, um, 
Oh, what's that called? Uh, one of those meats. Um, oh, I'm not sure what they call it. Track meat? No, not track meat. Um, these are, that's a really cool one. I like that. And this one, it's uh, yeah, it doesn't say the year. I'm not seeing it. That's a neat one. I think that one is really cool. I'll put that one in there. That's so cool. I know. And I got them just for like two dollars for a, a big, big, big bag of these. Oh, these were so neat. They're so old looking, you know. This is 30, um, 1935. Just this looks like, uh, like a child did this one. Yeah, they're just you know different things. This is a cute one. Let's see if you can put that in there. You know. However you do it. Oh, and here's some blank ones. Like ones, you know, some have writing on them, some don't. It's pretty exciting. That's 1955. Some more, and this is cool. Kent, Washington. I should be home soon. <laughs> yeah, they're just all really cool. You know, they're just really neat. You could put, what I've done before too is I've taken the backs of these and I've lined them up and just, you know, color coded them how they match. Put them all like this. this is something you could do. And then, um, I ran through my printer and then when I came out they came out just all on one page like this and then I could cut them and do different things with them you know to make my own paper so and I've done that all right so this anyway this gives you an idea what you could put in it um, you know and uh, you know this is a cute postcard And you know some writing on it, and I can put that in there along with my letter. You know, just whatever you want to put in there, your envelope. Make it look kind of cute. You know, take these off now. Like that. It's kind of plain. You know, it is kind of plain, but you know, I do have some buttons here. I might put, I might put some buttons on here real quick. See my buttons, these are all my white buttons. I put together, I thought I'd put maybe you know a button in between here, between these. Something. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. And you could use hot glue if you wanted to on this, that it would glue a lot quicker. But it's just a simple, simple little project. Yeah, you know, something like this. 